Hello, hello, my dear friends. How are you all? Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Today is the 10th of March of 2022. I was going to say 2021. I do hope you are all well. Thank you for your beautiful comments on the uh, Sacred Union Twin Flame reading. Um, one lady said, I sound sick. No, I'm well, thank you. But who knows? Um, sometimes I don't use my usual microphone. Um, and that's what the reason is probably that my voice sounds a little bit uh, more sharp. So that could be the case. My little elf is not doing well, so I've got to do everything on my own <laughs> hope that you're doing well dear friends um, the moon is moving through Gemini um, emotional chattery let's be open let's emotionally be ready to make the decisions to move forward Saturn is actually in a t-square with the nodes so the nodes we know are very fated Saturn moving through Aquarius and that's where Venus and Mars are heading up to. They're coming up to Saturn. But before that, they're going to uh, conjoin with uh, Juno. So it's all about commitments, contracts, marriage. You know, are we committed to our path moving forward? Fated events are playing out now. It's a time now to prove um, the value that you... Um, that you have pertaining to what it is you want to manifest is it worth you doing the work because Saturn is squaring those nodes saying that the rewards come uh, at a certain point at a certain time but uh, there's maturity there there are blockages my dear friends as we know Saturn is karma we have to deal with any karma that is necessary it's a very karmic time right now so let's see the energies we are reading the energies remember this is your uh the messenger is here so let's see what's going on we have aquarius and the sun we have the eight of cups wow and we've got the messenger is here the magician the possibilities are endless here as long as we are ready to take that journey emotionally, move towards the ability to manifest. This is something that we've been dreaming of. Now, where there's been no hope, where there's been no truth, remember Aquarius is all about truth. It's moving towards the future or moving towards that uh, wish that was at some point at a distance to you. Right, and you're communicating that, or there's been communication, or there's been a message of hope. Now, where there's been no hope, dear friends, someone is checking out. We've got the Eight of Cups. They haven't found all their happiness here. They haven't found, you know, what they've invested in. Um, they were not able to succeed in finding their bliss and their happiness. But this is also an emotional Oh, it could all, we could always say it's we're trusting that where we are moving towards emotionally, we've got the ability to manifest. Um, the magician is a number one. Remember, he is the ruling uh, energy of Gemini Virgo. Now, we've got a full moon in Virgo coming up around the corner. So maybe it's time now we've um, that we've done the work, right? Virgo is purifying something and there's some sort of a completion here we've been discriminating sort of trying to figure out if something was truthful if there was a wish fulfillment in what our hopes were and and of course um purifying a, a relationship a situation clearing out anything unhealthy anything to do with because Pisces is right across remember anything that was misunderstood we know the magician could be a trickster as well but I take it as a positive energy here um, that we are moving to some sort of a new beginning okay and it's something that we've wished for and maybe the timing is soon but we're still here 
we're still here it's just ahead of us the ability to manifest this is the stars aligning the time is now probably for many of you let's see what else we've got three of wands so a, a wish fulfillment at a physical distance at a timely distance um maybe we've been putting in the effort uh doing the work pertaining to our ships coming in um maybe also needing to believe happy <laughs> what a surprise oh my god there's some lovely surprise some lovely surprise where are we heading towards we see the moon here as well oh there it is the ace of pentacles so something that was probably on offer but remember the door was shut so whoever was in a situation that that where there was no growth no security right even if this was a relationship someone's ready to move on let's see under the magician and we've got the six of wands so yes we've got the possibilities of succeeding finding uh, equal giving and receiving six of wands is i succeed i'm recognized for my successes um i take leadership right it's it's the leo energy right let's see what's going on agapi do you want to relax <laughs> let's look at the psychic tarot of the heart what a wonderful surprise was that oh come here <laughs> come in here to make yourself comfortable push everything aside why don't you bless today's cards today's message my beautiful sweet pea <laughs> someone's in the mood right don't throw my crystals down will you thank you very much let's see what's going on in love what's going on in love 10th of March or whenever you receive this message Oh my God, we've got the master here, Capricorn and the devil. So someone's heart, <laughs> someone's heart in a, in a imprisoning situation. Someone needed to master, um, you know, become, become the boss. The master is someone who is... Uh, at the top of their game someone who's mastered maybe their emotions or someone who was who had blockages pertaining to matters of heart we've got the five five of cups here so someone regretting matters to do with the past needing to change their focus as well and we've got detach so some of us are needing to detach from difficulties of the past limiting energies with the devil toxicity uh, anything that's kept us bound um, restricted okay and that's that's like a spiritual growth as I see in the eight of cups here the eight of cups for me is someone that is they've invested a lot of time emotionally in a certain situation but they found maybe that there were too many blockages uh, or through the difficulties um through the difficulties someone's matured and we've got a number 11 here which is detach it's it's of course it is uh libra so it's relationships to others doesn't have to be romantic of course so we've got a 15 and a 5 and an 11 that's 31 that equals a 4 which is the energy of the emperor what happens after there is a detach and remember it's a portal number 11 maybe even making a choice as i see it um detaching so that we could get to our justice and we've got the moving on the eight of cups is here once more someone having been stuck in a situation that did not uh, provide them with happiness and now they're ready to move on right they're detaching from fears from limitations anything that's kept them in a toxic fearful and unhealthy connection and we've got reaching out which is the three of pentacles dear friends reaching out we see that there's help here she's being held up 
by other situations. It could be the divine, I don't know. I mean, three of pentacles is a point of success being noticed for the um, the work being done or your skills. So there's some sort of uh, a reward here, especially with a magician, because we've got the ability to manifest. Let's see with the Lenormand. What's going on here? Someone is needing to take a journey, could be a physical, could be a, an emotional uh, chapter that they're closing in their life. And Agape is watching my monitor now. She's watching my hands move. It's really interesting for her. She might grab for the monitor. Let's see what's going on. I want to look at this Eight of Cups because we have it twice. We have the clouds, which speaks to a lack of uncertainty. Uh secrets wow not understanding something checking out uh taking that taking strides move, moving forward and hoping to be able to figure things out but the magician does promise that because we know the magician is it's logic it's also the ability um the the empowerment comes from spirit as we're given all the tools that we need to figure things out. Is there logic where I'm heading to? And it's a lesson here. It is a lesson. Remember, we, these are very strong Neptune energies. And I just wanted to mention that the sun now moving through Pisces. And happy birthday if it's your birthday today. The sun moving through Pisces is at the exact midpoint of Jupiter and Neptune. So we're halfway there of figuring things out. Things that were unknown. Uh, maybe also a some sort of a deception or wearing those rose-colored glasses. And we've got the cross needing to keep the faith even though we don't have all the information. We need to hold on to the faith as we are moving towards our calling. Um, and we know that ahead of us, to balance our lives out, uh, to be happy, there is something out there for us. Remember, the Two of Cups is an agreement. It's coming into balance, um, coming into an agreement. Let's see what's at the bottom. And we've got the Twelve, which is also the Hanging Man. The birds do speak to uh, maybe gossip, maybe being very chattery, a lot of information, communication. But it can also speak to a sense of excitement to where we are heading. So what we've maybe believed in, hoped for, um, that that could possibly manifest. I'd like to see one more card on that cross. Agape. Oh, and we've got the bouquet here. So we've got an offer on the table. This is flirtation. This is uh, beautiful energies, right? So some sort of an offer that will make uh, make you happy. Agapi, come on. Ah, hold on a second. Agapi's being naughty now. She's biting my cards. No, you're not allowed to do that. Thank you. Stay there. Oh my goodness. So there is an offer on the table. We've got a nine here. Now nine is the hermit. So the hermit is someone being, you know, someone having been very quiet, not uh, maybe communicating, but also someone maybe having seen the light. Let's see what's going on here. We've got justice here again, and justice has been uh, the energies of the justice card, you know, yesterday's reading four times the justice card so there has been probably an injustice maybe also in relation to timing or something that we've been waiting for has taken too long because it's some sort of karma that we needed to deal with remember we've got Aquarius Uranus here and Saturn and we've got Saturn here and the whole of 2021 dear friends was like a clash between Uranus and Saturn right Uranus in Aquarius and sorry Saturn in Aquarius and uh, Uranus in Scorpio in uh, Taurus in Taurus so we're still in those energies that's still playing out that story 
and we're going to see a lot of it moving towards the later part of the year but this is a battle that's going on we've got a bit of uh, an open um, portal now which is giving us a chance to um, not be so much in a position of clashing but that theme is still running in the background. So needing to do, to maybe break free from anything that was holding us back and karmic. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant and of course uh, Taurus and um, matters pertaining to our faith, belief, spirituality, marriage. Okay, maybe a marriage was why, or a commitment, some sort of a contract as well, uh, that had that door closed. But we've got the ability to succeed, and there is the Empress. So there is, we've got the Venus energy here, Taurus, Libra, and as I said, Libra has been showing up a lot. The Empress is attracting something beautiful in the future here we do have the ability major arcana cards venus is picking up speed now as she's transiting through aquarius she's going to enter pisces that's when the magic will happen but we're looking at april dear friends april is going to be really promising yeah someone's been through a lot here but they're still standing hoping for the ability for love manifestation, succeeding in um, the ability to to succeed in something that they've hoped for and wished for. What is beneath here? And we've got the news coming in. So this is excitement for me. This is an ace. This is excitement and it's like seeing that our sacrifice maybe is rewarded here. We are maybe dealing with someone that's seen things from a different perspective. Someone's been cut out of a situation. The scythe is here. Yeah, there's the Scorpio energy. So something is ending, no doubt, here. Someone is detaching from a um, limiting, toxic, uh, deceiving situation. But someone needed to stand strong and do their duties, right? And hold on to that heaviness until there was there will be or there was for some of you a breakthrough with this uh, card of the bouquet number nine so the hermit has seen now has seen the light there is wisdom here someone's ready to come out of their cave they've seen the truth pertaining also maybe to a spiritual connection We've got the main male, we have the bad health, which is a number four, again, pertaining to someone who's got a lot of responsibilities. We had the empress, number four is our stability, could be pertaining to an emperor or someone that has got a lot that they have been dealing with, maybe a lot of obligations, someone needing to mature. We've got the wealthy man here, number 13, so Scorpio comes up as well. Of course, we've got Capricorn. We've got Libra, as I mentioned here, Gemini, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Libra, Leo. We do have some Earth here. I've mentioned the Hermit, which is Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, all the Earth signs. What's beneath the Justice card? And we've got the Queen of Swords. So someone's been going through maybe a separation hardships legalities we've got there's concerns here there are concerns pertaining to portals that are open opportunities coming through it's a 33 and i see also 11 22 33 44 i do see it as portals and opportunities that come through let's see what the karma dharma is today Oh my goodness, we are still dealing <laughs> with, with Capricorn energy, sweet, sweet friends. Capricorn is still here. The energies are still on pertaining to those limitations, dear friends. 
This is asking for work. This is asking for maturity. It's asking for no fear. It's asking for the ability to break through from that dark, that shadow phase of our lives collectively, personally. The door is actually open here. It's fear that's holding us back. And if it's not fear, then it's timing. It's all about timing, dear friends. I'd like to take one more. I just feel called to take one more today. What I need a bit more clarity on the devil. And we've got the world card, which again shows Saturn. Yes, right on point. And the world card is the ending of a major cycle. The potential is here, right? And the limitations could also speak to travel, not being able to travel, being uh, restricted because the world card speaks to accomplishment. Pro it's a time to prove ourselves right now. and But there are limitations pertaining to having the ability to expand, um, to move towards a place that you feel called to. Um, the world, accomplishment, marriage, commitment, Closing up a major karmic cycle and ending. Remember, it's the four fixed signs which are challenged through the nodal axis of Taurus Scorpio. I'm sorry if you can hear an alarm has gone off in the background. And speaking of alarm, um, my love goes out to all those victims all the people that are suffering uh, with this animosity going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine. My my heart goes out to those that are in, in a very challenging position. They've lost loved ones there, having uh, so much heartbreak and heartache. My love, my support, my blessings to all those that are suffering. War is never, ever a solution, dear friends. Swords, just like that Five of Swords, they cut both sides. There is no, there are no winners within a battle, within a war. The war needs to stop. Dear Spirit, please put in all all your magic to stop the war and I, I I just hope that all of you as you know just a collective energy just send your wishes and your prayers out to those and send your prayers and your wishes out to spirit so that this war can stop what is the uh, energy oracle advice today patience someone's losing their patience here it's all about timing, my friends. As you can see, the clock, which is Saturn again. Looking at my clock now, it's 22.22 um, on my uh, countdown for the reading that I'm doing for you. So 22.22. Hmm. Let's read number 16 in the reverse. In the reverse. So the reverse message says... Peaceful redirection is the message when this card is reversed. Open up to the options available to you, even if they aren't yet totally clear. The universe supports you when you allow this influence to help direct your outcomes and when you open your imagination to all of the potential solutions around you. The key is to keep moving forward. That's why we've got the Eight of Cups. It's saying to keep moving forward. Even though we see limitations, we need to detach from fears and keep moving forward, dear friends. Don't give up on your goal. Uh, the key is to keep moving forward without frantic need or urgency. Don't give up on your goal. Initiation and renewed action are needed now. So keep an open eye to new and unexpected opportunities around you. You may be surprised by where they lead. And the affirmation today is, I pursue my goals with open receptivity. I am patient and flexible, willing to receive in many surprising and imaginative ways. So that's today's advice, dear friends. 
Okay. Um, should we take... Should we take another message? Okay. I want to take my Greek deck just to get an idea. An idea of... Uh, what's playing out here because if this is pertaining to romance some of us could be moving on um, moving on from toxicity even though it's difficult we need to keep the belief keep believing and whatever this is that makes us happy uh, something that maybe was a wish fulfillment in the past or there's been a message of hope coming through um, recently and uh, also keep moving on to maybe something that was also um, provided or talked about in the past. Something that was stable long term. Remember that closed door. And we've got the Hierophant here. So it, a lot of fated things are playing out with the North Node facing Taurus. Let's see what's going on. We've got a disappointment here. We've got a broken heart and it's 22. Maybe someone is having difficulty in making decision to move forward, choosing between two things and for the ability to move forward, to open up new doors, we're going through a death and a transformation. We've got Scorpio here and we've got Earth. So it's it's faded matters. This speaks to the north and south nodes, no doubt. And we've got a dark male. Could be an older, could be a younger. It will be different for each of you, but we've got an ace here, just like the magician. So this could be someone receiving, I don't know, the wisdom from someone or information coming through. We see someone who's got a grey beard, someone who, it reminds me very much of the Hermit, which could be an advisor. Let's take another card on that. Scorpio also speaks to the, um, the South Node, so needing to shed anything that's been holding us back from moving forward and having a new beginning. And... This is the very similar to the closed door, dear friends. So it does speak to timing. The potential here is that really positive open portal, but it's all about timing here. And remember, 49 is a 13 again. We have not ended up with that shedding, that karma, that past karma that is holding us back. And this is like an imprisoning situation that Piscean needing to end that major chapter, the blockages, or if this is in relation to a love affair, a love triangle, we're still dealing with this Piscean energy. We need to have those glasses come off, those rose-colored glasses. We need to have the clarity, right? But we need to also hold on to the faith where things are looking really bleak Someone is taking action towards those two cups, that agreement. It's just not happening today, my dear friends. The news is it, it's the doors are not ready open. We, we are not able yet. Not today, not tomorrow, not until I'm going to say after that full moon in Virgo. I truly believe on the 18th right, and maybe also the 20th, which is the equinox, unless we get to the beginning of that new ast astrological year, the energies will shift as the sun will ingress into Aries, unless we finish up with this um, unhealthy cycle, limiting, fearful, a fear of the worst going on, right? Because Pisces is also, it's very dreamy energy. It, it could speak to nightmares, fearing the worst as well. Um, and it can also speak to um, spirituality, right? Not believing in the help from the divine. But there's a lot of magic that will be happening, um, I would say, in April. March is not an easy month. 
And there it is, Aries Taurus. So Aries Taurus is a very uh, potent time. It's a time of eclipses as well. So the energies that we are reading for many of you, that's how they're speaking loudly to me. One, one card from the Good Tarot, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Mother, getting grounded. Queen of Pentacles, she knows she's got the ability to stay strong, to stay uh, very uh, supportive of others. Remember, she is the Minor Arcana of the Empress, Queen of Earth, being grounded, having her feet planted on the ground. It's Virgo Capricorn for most uh, of you, I believe, here. Being very motherly, uh, nurturing and staying on track, holding on to the faith. All right, everyone, I will leave you with that. Love and light, wishing you all well. Um, hope all is well for you. Uh, love to hear from you. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Much love. Shine bright, everyone.